Hello, my name is Rose Pierre-Louis and I'm the Manhattan Deputy Borough President from the Office of Manhattan Borough President Scott Stringer and I'm delighted to introduce Steps to End Family Violence. I've worked with Steps for the past 20 years uh, prior be to becoming a Deputy Borough President I worked in the trenches as an advocate uh, working on behalf of victims of domestic violence and represented uh, women in the courts in New York City and of course STEPS was one of the key innovative organizations in the community that was providing services not only to victims of domestic violence but also to children as well as to adults so to the entire family STEPS was really thinking about providing services on the front line not only preventive services but also crisis interventive services that were culturally competent, uh, multilingual and free. Um, one of the things that to me is so important about the work that STEPS does is the fact that when you think about the impact of domestic violence on families in northern Manhattan, which unfortunately has disproportionately been impacted by violence, we know this has a destabilizing effect on communities. So it's critically important to be able to provide services to every member of the family to ensure that as a community and as families and as neighborhoods that we can get vital services that we need. STEPS is that organization. STEPS is the grassroots that works with community, that works with not-for-profit organizations, that works with the clergy to talk talk about issues that are impacting our communities and not only talking about the issues but they're there on the front line to provide services. I think the model that STEPS has been able to create over the years is one that is not only repl replicable throughout cities in uh, New York but certainly replicable nationally um, and uh, especially uh, with their emphasis on the preventive piece because I think for a long time uh, anti-violence work has focused primarily on the crisis intervention piece. I think particularly with our youth, we can really focus services on prevention and STEPS has really been in the front lines in that area. One of the things that I think is also important about STEPS as an organization is that they really get it on the cultural competency. When you're providing services to community, you have to be able to reach each person individually. So steps, their clinicians, their attorneys, their staff, their staff there that speaks French, their staff there that speaks Spanish. So we're dealing with a multilingual and diverse agency that is able to reach out to a variety of, of uh, families throughout uh, northern Manhattan and the borough of uh, Manhattan regarding services. And when you think about the number of languages that are spoken in the borough of Manhattan, when you think about the diversity of New York City as a whole, the fact that STEPS really values this kind of diversity and cultural competency as a core value of their programs, I think once again is a reason why they are distinguished from the pack. I'm delighted to support STEPS to End Family Violence. I think they're one of the best uh, organizations doing anti-violence work, not only in the city, in the state of New York, but really in the country. So I'm delighted to, to be with you today.